Hey guys, it's Wrecker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Puss in Boots. I have decided to split this up into two videos. This video you're watching now is the unedited run. It has all the deaths at the end included. Anyway, that room I went into earlier, um, if you take a wrong turn on this level, you'll get sent there. Any doors I skip will just send you back there or to another room that you don't want to go into. This place is a maze, and there's a whole bunch of gears and beams and shit in here. Is this some sort of construction site or something? I don't know what the hell this place is. That door down there, um, that'll just take you back just like this. So, I am going to get back to where I was off camera. Okay, we're back here. I just wanted to demonstrate what happens when you go the wrong way. I <sighs> can't make simple jumps. Both of that door on the left goes nowhere. Also, if you try to go back, I think you'll be sent to uh, the beginning. Anyway, this door is amusing. If you go in it, you'll just come right out the same way. <laughs> Video game logic. Oh wait, this game isn't supposed to make sense in the first place. <sighs> Wolfman Productions in the Don't Turn Off the Game thread pointed out that this game is based on a fairy tale, apparently, not, a, not an anime. I have no idea what the point of this room is. <sighs> and I have no idea what the point of that death was either. If I just didn't demonstrate that room, I wouldn't have died there. But I probably would have died later in the level. And why am I getting hit so damn much? This is another pointless room. Uh, if somebody can tell me if there's a point to those rooms, just post it in the comments. Anyway, this guy I want the boomerang for. Just because the way he moves, he roughly follows your motion, and he's a real pain in the butt. This guy is pretty tough, but once you know his movement, uh, AI. He's not hard to beat. I'll take my 4,000 points and the end of the level. Nope, not the end of the level yet. There's one more boss. And this guy is far and away the hardest thing in the game. I would say this guy is... Or these guys are just about blatantly unfair. Just because they fire so many damn bullets. And if you touch uh, the active boss, you will die immediately, regardless of your health. That's the only insta kill in the game besides falling into a pit. Pretty much, you just have to rely on the random chance of these guys staying away from you. You heard that dinging sound? That was what happens when you touch one of them, is it takes off one hit point per frame and you only have like seven, so it's pretty much an instant kill, especially with all the damage you take from these guys in the first place. Pretty much you just have to rely on the random occurrence that they're not going to come over while you're shooting them down. Oh, one health. Damn it! And yeah, there's no zero life in this game. So yeah, I'll show you the real run later. 